Hello, welcome to another video. This is a little bit later than I intended it to be because I kind of forgot about it until today. This is my February wrap up. I read five books in February. I didn't exactly boss the TBR I'd set for myself, but I did read five books that I pretty much enjoyed across the board. And I think that this might be the month I read the most pages, whilst it wasn't the month I read the most books because the books I read well, two of the books I read were pretty chonky. The first book I read in February was Pages & Co book four, The Book Smugglers. This is by Anna James. This is a middle grade series and I love it so, so much. The whole series follows our main character who can jump into the pages of books and she can interact with the characters. And in some cases, the characters can come out of those books and interact with her. And she's part of this whole group of people who are able to wander into the pages of these books. Her grandparents own a bookshop. There's this whole integration with libraries. It's such a fun series. This is the fourth instalment. I'm not going to tell you too much about this one, but we do see more of a character from book three that we got to know a little bit. We see a lot more of them in this book. But I really enjoyed this. I gave it four out of five stars, and it's just a really cute, fun, cozy, and magical middle grade. Then I read a poetry book, and this is The Things I Learned and The Things I Still Don't Know About by Talitha Wing. This book matches my outfit perfectly. This is such a brilliant poetry collection. This is feminist and fierce. It's strong. It's about experiences that the author has been through. And it's just such a perceptive novel about growing up and being in between that stage of being an adult and being a teenager and kind of the blur of those lines. I really enjoyed this collection of poetry and I don't know if you can see, but this is all where I've tabbed the pages back on some of my favorite poems. Um, I've tabbed a couple, Count Yourself, Not All Great Art. I've also tabbed Despite Herself, The Past. There's loads of fantastic ones in here, but those are a couple of the ones I particularly enjoyed. Such a brilliant poetry collection. I gave it five out of five stars. Next up was my Patreon pick for me to read, and that is Gods of Jade and Shadow by Sylvia Moreno-Garcia. My patrons pick me to read a book every two months, and I will create a dedicated reading vlog for that that's available to anyone in the Lothlorien tier onwards. If you did want to join and help me pick, I basically give them my whole TBR, and then they pick from that list and then I do a random number generator to pick the book I read. And this is the book that I got. So I read this one in February and I really enjoyed it. I really love Mexican Gothic by the same author. So I had high expectations for this one. Mexican Gothic is very much a Gothic horror and plays into that genre a lot. And this one is more of a dark fantasy, I would say, which I really enjoyed. We see a God of Death being released from a box in this book by our main character. And the God of Death has been trapped in this box for quite a while. And when he gets out, he wants to basically make sure that he doesn't get trapped back in this box and kind of evoke revenge in a way and just sort out what the hell's happened to him and form himself back to being the god of death that he knows himself to be rather than being closer to a mortal being. So it's a big journey and our main character goes through quite a lot of changes and developments in this journey as well. And I really enjoyed the visual imagery of this. I really enjoyed what we saw through the eyes of this character experiencing life for the first time. She's lived a very isolated life and she gets to see everything fresh and experience all these things and we're experiencing them with her and it was really really good fun so this was four out of five stars for me then book number one of two for the very chonky books that i read this month i did a reread as house of earth and blood by sarah j mass this is 800 pages roughly and i have read it before and tabbed it and this was a reread for me partially read alongside partially read the audiobook this is the second time i've read this book and i loved it there are so many epic points in this this follows bryce who is a half fae half human and she is investigating into a murder and this is about her teaming up with somebody to investigate into that murder and what they find out and what this means for the future of her city. And I just, I love it, I love it. There's so many hero heroic epic moments in this book that just make me very happy, make me very emotional. And it delivered just as much on the second read as it did on the first read. And I just, I really enjoyed it. The first time I read this, I gave it five stars and I'm pleased to say it's still five stars. Then the final chunky read and the final book I read this month, this one took me two weeks nearly to read, which is why I didn't read as many books this month as I would normally. That is House of Sky and Breath, also by Sarah J Maas. This is the sequel to the first book, House of Earth and Blood. And this one is massive. This is bigger. Actually, do you know what? Maybe House of Earth and Blood isn't 800 pages because this was just over. I'm gonna check. Okay, now this is literally just under 800 pages, whereas this is just over 800 pages, but this looks considerably 
thicker. I think this one uses more like Bible thin pages. But anyway, so I read this one and oh wow, what a journey we go on. I think this is going to be a three book series at the moment and I'm very excited to see where the third book takes us because this one was a journey. We saw a hell of a lot of changes, a hell of a lot of reveals and developments. It was very tense at times. For me, it didn't quite hit the bar the first book delivered at. I think there was a couple more epic, more emotional, more heartstring tugging moments in the first book that I wanted from this one that it didn't quite have, but it was still absolutely excellent and I still really, really enjoyed it. But for that reason, it just missed out a teeny weeny bit on being five stars and it came out as a 4.5 stars for me, but I still loved it. I will say there is a lot of smut in this book and I ended up laughing at most of it. So I, I found the sex scenes more comical than I did anything else, which may be an interesting reaction, probably not the one desired, but it kind of made the reading experience enjoyable in a different way for me because I just kept laughing. So I certainly got entertainment from it. This is a very short wrap up, but here's my five books. Here they are. I started strong for the month and then Sarah J Mass came and ruined me. Also, I do actually have a book that I am in the middle of. I'm trying to decide whether to DNF it or not. It's over there somewhere, but that book is The Phone Box at the Edge of the World. It's fine, it's very beautifully written, but it is very dreary and very sad, and it wasn't really doing much for me in terms of making me want to read it and picking me up. So I've put that one down temporarily. I don't know if I'll get back to it. I thought it was on script as an audiobook, but I can't find it at the moment. So I don't know, I'll, I'll see where I go with that one. But these are my five books read. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please do give it a thumbs up. Let me know how many books you read in March. Again, I'm sorry this video is a little bit late. You can also subscribe, subscribe, subscribe there. You can subscribe <laughs> to see more of my face on your feed. I also have my Patreon link down below. I'm doing roughly two live shows a week coming up, which I'm very excited for. If you're watching this at the start of March still and you want to sign up to get access, this is the best time of the month to sign up because you get access to the full month, which will be, I think the first live show will be Monday the whatever that is. <laughs> the first the first Monday of March, that'll be the first live show. So very excited for that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Keep smiling and stay positive. <laughs>